Dr. J. Montgomery. All right, all right. How y'all doing? Y'all look comfortable as shit. You got your mason jar with your Mount Dew in it. <laughs> it's in the moonshine and Mount Dew. All right. How y'all doing at the bar? Good. Hey, thank you, friends, for turning off the TVs. Some venues, they still believe in TVs for some reason when the, com when the comedians are up. So thank you for turning this shit off. How y'all doing? All right, so speaking of family, I'm currently going through a divorce right now. You know, no, oh, it ain't y'all fault. It was, i say about 60% me, 40%. Maybe 50% me, 50% her, you know, finished place. Um, so, you know, obviously visitation is part of the divorce. So I have a five-year-old son. Now, I can tell every single day that he's mine by looking at him. I look at him and say, yeah, this is my son. He got the same head size, at five, curly hair, and his logic is just like mine. He came to my house one day and said, Daddy, I don't like your house. At that point, I'm offended. Like, what the fuck? He said, your house too small. I started looking around. God damn. It is pretty small. You're right. I need to do something about that. He said, yeah, but I don't like your house as well. Son too smart at five years old. He say, as well. Like, he write the motherfucking paper or something. <laughs> he said, I don't like your house because you don't have stairs. And at that point, I'm completely offended. Because every house, every apartment, every studio, every efficiency doesn't have stairs. So I said, well, you know, I'm sitting right here, kiss my ass. But to him, I said, well, buddy, I'm sorry to disappoint you that I don't have stairs. He said, but I do like your house, daddy, because you got a big TV. I got a 55 inch, and mama got like a 32. So I'm doing good on that part. <laughs> yeah, when I go to my YouTube, when I go to my YouTube to look up Migos, Travis Scott, Quavo, the first two rows is straight wildcrats. Like, fuck, I'm a daddy. Shit. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's one of the struggles I'm having as a uh, as a single father now. Hey, how you doing, Miss Snow Queen? She warm as hell. You had the AC on in your car, didn't it? You got all they got the Russian hat on with the Yugoslavian coat. I don't do well. You had the AC on. You was too hot. You ain't let the car warm. She just got off a cruise. She just got off a cruise. Yeah. So what the I'm hell you doing in Lexington? <laughs> Man, if I get off the cruise, I'm at least going to Florida first before I get to uh, get back to Kentucky. Back to Florida. She got stuck in Florida. By the way, I'm from the South, so yeah. me, absolutely, I hate this Birmingham. motherfucking weather. Hate it. Every time I go outside, I cuss Mother Nature out as if she just hit me. I step outside, I got on a hoodie, a hat, a coat, compression pants, tube socks, long johns, wife beater. Gloves, the gloves that fit, not like OJ. My, my shit oh, fit. Oh, yeah. My mind fit. I, 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 one size fit this one, not one size fit all. <laughs> so I go outside, and what gets me is either my nose or my ears. That's my that's my thermostat for the temperature. My nose or my ears. So I gotta make sure I have on the hat to make sure my ears covered. Then I have on headphones because that's the 21st century earmuffs. You don't need earmuffs no more. You just need to get over the, on the head, headphones. They work perfectly. You put your music on, your ears are warm, you're bumping, somebody call, all you gotta do is hit answer. 
and your ears still warm while you're talking. You ain't got to hold your hand up. It worked perfect. So if, you, if your ears are cold in the wintertime, get over the head headphones, Beats or Skull Candy or Sony. Sony is the third choice. Yeah. You know, everybody not balling. You know, it might be balling on the budget, you know, so I might have to get Skull Candies instead of Beats. But yeah, it'd be cold as hell. So I walk out, sign up, and as soon as I go out, I go, fuck! It's cold, shit! Why is it this cold? I realize being from the South Coast is such an inconvenience to everyday life. When it rains, all you gotta do is come out with a waterproof jacket on or umbrella, you get to the car, turn your wipers on if they work, and you good. You good. You good. You 100, you good, right? But when it snows, you gotta go outside, shovel the parking, you know, shovel the driveway that you park in, by the way, you, 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 you park in the driveway and drive on the parkway. That's just crazy, right? Yeah, just like Kentucky, how the state of Kentucky has stole every single European city and gave it their own name. You got Versailles. When I first, when I first came to Kentucky six years ago and I saw the word Versailles, I was like, oh shit, you from Versailles? That's cool. I'm not from Versailles, I'm from Versailles. Like, oh shit, you from London? You from Monticello? I'm not from Monticello, where is that? I'm from Monticello. There's this street in Berea, Kentucky, I kid you not. It is spelled H-A-I-T-I -I Road. What is that? All in y'all are wrong. That shit, Haiti Road. <laughs> You cannot tell a single native Berean that that, that that name is pronounced Haiti Road. It's Haiti. So what I've been thinking about is becoming a lawyer and suing the whole commonwealth because, you know, Kentucky is not even a state. It's just a commonwealth. But everybody's broke. You live in a commonwealth and everybody broke. That's some bullshit, right? Ain't nobody got no money. The farmers, the businessmen. Everybody broke. Everybody on on Medicaid. They said the state. They said the Commonwealth, not the state of Kentucky. The Commonwealth of Kentucky is the biggest beneficiary of the Affordable Care Act. And for you white people, that's Obamacare. Just to let y'all know, some some people have been shocked that Obamacare and Affordable Care Act is different. I mean, it's the same, but it's actually the same. So if you're receiving well care passport, it's Obamacare. So thank that one black man for giving y'all health insurance, at least. Just saying. If you don't fuck with Frederick Douglass, MLK, Malcolm X, that's fine. But Barack Obama did give y'all some motherfucking health insurance. Just saying. If you work at Hitachi or Toyota, you know, they kill people. You need Obamacare. Just saying. So, hey, thank, thank Obama for giving y'all some health insurance because uh, the, the one that's trying to build that wall, I don't know if he went to China and saw the Great Wall and thought it was a good idea in 2017 to build a wall. Good luck. Shit, they had slaves, war slaves, building the Great Wall of China. Not just some regular people who filled out an application and they checked their background, then they did a random background check and said, okay, you can work. No, these people was forced to build this wall. You can't force nobody in 2017 to build no motherfucking wall. Not if you ain't getting paid. Because you still got your lights, you still got your rent. You gotta have car insurance, you got your car note. You gotta have your license tag, and you gotta have a car. So who gonna build a wall for free? I don't think anybody in here is willing to work for free. Are you? You willing to work for free? I ain't talking about volunteer work. I'm talking about work. You go, you, you want money. Hell, hell to the motherfucking no. I think that's the way it goes. Hell to the motherfucking no. You got to add the motherfucking part in it because you, cause your skin is a little, little dark. So, you know, black folks, they say motherfucking all the time. So you got to say hell to the motherfucking no. This table over here say hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I realize in Kentucky, y'all say, you know what I'm saying? In Birmingham, they say, you feel me? You see how smooth that is? You talking? Man, I got this hope. Matter at this place. She 
you suck my dick, you feel me? You see how smooth that is? In Kentucky, man, I met this girl at, at White Castle. And she bought me a couple of sliders. And then she swallowed me. You know what I'm seeing? But see, it don't, it don't transition well. So I, I like that you feel me. Where y'all from? Kentucky. Where? Where? Lexington. Lexington. You said Cat City. Cat City. But I thought this was Horse City as well. So are y'all UK fans or UK yeah. basketball yeah. fans? Yeah. Okay. UK basketball. Okay, because I thought when it comes to football, y'all only fans when they win five games. That's right. If they have four games, ain't nobody a fan. But when it comes to five, go Wildcats. What else y'all get in? Gymnastics, ping pong. Bas oh, basketball. Y'all find the y'all find the dumbest motherfuckers to play basketball. Y'all find the most athletic, dumbass motherfuckers to play. And y'all just say, "Give me one year." And I think that's why Patino got fired because he was finding quality athletes who would play multiple years. I'll, hey, I'm just a commentator. I'm just a commentator. Speaking of commentator. Louisville needs to stop hiring coaches with the last name Eno. Because Bobby Petrino, yeah. Rick Petino, whoo! Y'all need to find some, some Smiths, some Williams, some red glass names for, for U of L because them Enos, them Italians, they bring that mafia mindset back to the campus. Speaking of mafia, I think Joe Pesci is here, so y'all need to stop talking about him, comedians. He looked, this place and him looked like Goodfellas when he whooped his ass and stabbed him with the butcher knife. So be careful when y'all talking about him. You got Joe Pesci in the house. So uh, I've been waved the light. It's been much fun. I'm going to bring second place back up here to take first place off the stage. <laughs> Thank you.